Each year at Christmas, Joe writes a letter to Santa, but they've had some misunderstandings in the past. Last year, for example, Joe wanted a fire engine red race car with retractable headlights. He did get one, but it wasn't quite what he was looking for. This year, Joe is really, really careful. He describes exactly what he wants. And on Christmas morning, guess what's waiting for him under the tree? Well, let's find out through this hilarious romp through the land of Be Careful What You Wish For Holiday Magic Fun Book by Penguin Osbert by Elizabeth Cody Kimball illustrated by H.B. Lewis. This year I was very specific in my letter to Santa Claus. We've had a few misunderstandings in the past. For instance, last year I asked for a fire engine red race car with a detachable roof lightning bolt on the side and retracting headlights and he did get me one but it was only three inches long and the year before i had really wanted a trampoline i wasn't sure how to spell it so in my letter I just sort of described what I wanted. Santa sent me a pogo stick. So this year I was really, really careful. I wrote Santa a long letter and told him I would like to have my own pet penguin. Not a stuffed penguin, but a real one from Antarctica. I told him my penguin should be one foot tall, white and black with a yellow beak, and his name should be Osbert. I included a drawing. I put extra postage on the envelope and sent it off a whole month early. Then I waited. When Christmas morning came, I was the first one downstairs. There he was. He was black and white with a yellow beak and exactly 12 inches tall. He was moving and breathing and everything. Around his neck was a tag. It said, Hello, my name is Osbert. Santa had come through. I wanted Osbert to meet everybody. I wanted to take him to my room. Plus, I wanted to open my other presents. But Osbert really wanted to go outside and play. It was pretty cold and kind of windy too. There was a foot or two of snow on the ground and no sun. But I had asked for Osbert, and now I had him. So, we went outside. We played Powder Slide and Wreck the Igloo. We had snowball fights and made ice penguins. We escaped from the jaws of imaginary leopard seals. Osbert wanted to go swimming, but I explained that it might not be possible. So we sang some of the old penguin songs instead. That night, I was ready to go straight to bed. We had such a big day, but Osbert wanted to take a bath. He filled the tub to the very top, and we got in. Osbert 
unwrapped all the bars of soap and floated them around like icebergs. After a while, I had pruned fingers and my skin itched from all the soap. But I had asked for Osbert and now I had him. And Osbert liked playing in a cold bath. The next morning, Mom said she'd make anything I wanted for breakfast. When I closed my eyes, I saw a stack of chocolate chip waffles with heated syrup, a platter piled high with fried sausages, and an icy pitcher of freshly squeezed mango juice. But Asper doesn't like rich food, and he doesn't like hot food, and he doesn't like sweet food. Osbert wanted cold, creamed herring with seaweed jam for breakfast. So, that's what we had. After breakfast, it was my turn to do chores. So, I did the dishes, went upstairs to clean my room. When I came back down, I saw that Osbert had been working too. He had built an entire ice village out of freezer pops, frozen leftovers, and tubs of ice cream. It was all beginning to melt. Osbert, of course, couldn't hold a towel in his flippers. But I had asked for Osbert, and now I had him. So I cleaned up the mess myself. That afternoon, when Osbert was watching the Weather Channel on cable TV, I secretly wrote another letter. Dear Santa, how are you and Mrs. Claus? We are fine. Thank you for the great penguin named Osbert. We take cold baths together and have creamed herring for breakfast. I am getting used to spending all day in the snow. Plus, it turns out I didn't have frostbite after all. Your friend, Joe. P.S. One more thing, Santa. If you feel like maybe I should have asked for a different present, and you want to swap, that would be okay. And while Osbert was leafing through a snow globe catalog, I snuck out and mailed the letter. A couple of days later, I woke up to find a package at the foot of my bed. There was a tag with my name on it, signed. Santa. Inside the box was a red pullover sweater and two free passes to the grand opening of Antarctica World at the zoo. After Osbert made a shrimp sculpture out of the wrapping paper, he wanted to go right away, but he didn't want to take the bus. The zoo was a long way away. But I had asked for Osbert, and now I had him. So we walked. When we got to Antarctica World, Osbert headed straight for the Penguin Palace. There was a huge snowy hill with an ice slide leading down to a big pool. There were leopard seals painted on the walls tiny bergs of real ice were floating in the water. And then a door opened in the wall, and a guy came out and started tossing creamed herring to all the penguins. When it got to be closing time, I told Osbert we had to leave. He waddled over to me, but I knew he felt at home in the penguin palace. It had everything he needed. Osbert was the first Christmas present 
Santa ever gave to me that I really wanted. I had asked for Osbert, and I had gotten him. But Osbert needed ice slides and leopard seals and plenty of herring. I asked him if he would be happier living at the Penguin Palace. Osbert looked into my eyes, and then he nodded. It's a little lonely at home without Osbert, and my new sweater itches my neck a little bit, right under my chin. Next Saturday is Kids Visit Free Day at Antarctica World. I don't have bus fare, but I can walk. I'll wear my red sweater so Osbert will be sure to recognize me. And next Christmas is only 11 months away. I've thought about it a lot, and I already know what I want. I'm sure I can't get into too much trouble with just one helicopter. Hello friends, I hope you enjoyed our story today. I have many other books if you will just take a look at my channel, Storytime with Lorelei. Please click subscribe to see any new books. If you like this book, just click like and share it with all of your friends. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.